Hello. This is my team. Today, I am at the main maritime museum in Bath, where marine history comes alive. Oh, no, not marine. <laughs> maritime history comes alive. That's the history of ships and uh, such. Join me, won't you? I'm going to interview my first subject. Excuse me, how many times have you been to this museum? About, like, five. Four. Four times? Maybe five? This is a painting of, I don't know what ship, but it has some of more than one ship. This is a ship that I don't know what it's called. Wow, yeah, can I... Can I show you an odd exhibit? This is the same thing. That's the same person as that. Yes, it is. It's the figurehead for the brig Clarissa Ann. And uh, this figurehead is from 1824. Everything in this museum is so uh, old. Wow, look at this. Look at the size of this painting. It's uh, four times the size of the boy. Oh, I'm being dragged. It, look, so I'm not right there. Look, the ship is almost life size. It's life size. Look, I'm on the ocean. I'm on the sea. I am a monkey. Oh, focus. Yes. Well, right focus. Focus. The uh, photograph behind me is from 1904 and uh, it pictures a five mastered schooner. It big enough for several monkeys and that uh, as many bananas as I could carry. This is a banana feeder designed to carry over five billion. Oh, oh. It, um, this is. Oh, we'll take it. I, I, I have a headache. Yes. Hey, why it's do I have a headache? Tanker. Can you tell me why I have a headache? Because I just bonked you. Because it's not a banana fit. It's an oil tanker. Behind me, in the distance, is Bath Ironworks. Where many naval ships have been launched. Launched. Oh, take a look with me, won't you? I tell you, I'll, I'll do this one and you do that one, okay? Okay, you ready? Go. You just launch it, you get the water, and then a few things I'd like to tell you about that. Notice the ship's going across to the other side of the river. So we're going to be over the Rousek over there, right? To stop that, what they had was, in 1909, they had powered vessels like uh, uh, tugboats that have one behind it to pull it, that have another one on the side of that one to prevent it from going up and downstream, right? And then it went out. Pull it out and pull it around over to the dock over there. That's the first thing I Behind me is a diorama which depicts a blustery March day at the uh, three adjacent shipyards along the Kennebec River in South Bath. This is where the main maritime museum stands today. Join me, won't you? The short hand moves to one, and the long hand moves to twelve. That means the time is one o'clock, and all is well. When the short hand moves to two, and the long hand moves to twelve. Did you see everybody hard at work? Everyone here is hard at work. I'm going to go do some work. Here I am, aboard a tugboat in the main maritime museum. And I'm going to steer now. Monkey, don't touch that. I'm going to go for captain. I'm going to put. Oh, I'm going to starboard. Starboard. Oh. Starboard. Starboard. <laughs> oh, the compass. Compass is spinning. Hey. Hey. Oh. Ow. Oh. Let's go 20 knots ahead. Okay. Shall we, monkey? Tick-tock, tick-tock. 
When the short hand's on eleven and the long hand moves to twelve, that means the time is eleven o'clock and all is well. When the short hand moves to twelve and the long hand moves to twelve, that means the time is twelve o'clock and all is well.